So you think we need one more? You think we need one more? What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Four Corners of the Galley. I'm your host, Pete Bo, and you're joining me on another edition of our Top Four Plus one more, folks. That's right. That's our four galleys top list. Top what? We'll top anything we come up with. We're talking movies, franchises, people, directors, writers, music videos, musicians, uh, Taco Bell tacos, and everything else we come up with in our mind. Well, I know it's a little different weird box office this week, but there is a unique sci-fi movie coming out called The Kin, and it's all about a young boy finding a space-age gun and going on the run and trying to find out what it's all about, but also being chased at the same time. So with that being said... I said, let's do sci-fi chase movies. And you're wondering, what the heck is a sci-fi chase movie? And I'm with you. Well, basically, it's a science fiction movie that it still has what the main plot is a chase. We're talking the, fr the Tron franchise, Terminator franchise, iRobot, Blade Runner franchise, Total Recall, Jumper. All the fun movies where it's sci-fi and the whole time they're on the run and they're trying to get something. So without further ado, folks, let's kick it off with our top four plus one more sci-fi chase movies. <clears throat> So coming in at number four, folks, we have 1982, Tron, directed by Steven Leisenberg, starring Jeff Bridges and Miss Cindy Morgan. This movie is amazing. This is the story of a young computer developer who's creating a game who ends up getting sucked into his own game called Tron, and he must fight his way through this game and the world and get his an escape. This movie is awesome. This came out in the early 80s, an introductory into video games and video game movies. This movie was far and beyond its time. I mean, yes, you see it now, and does it look a little funny? Of course, because movies have come a long way technology-wise. But the things that they did and the creativity, oh my goodness. I can tell you right now, that video arcade with that Tron game, oh, I wore that game out. I was always in the arcade playing Tron. Tron is a classic and a great sci-fi chase movie where the whole time he's trying to figure out how to defeat this game and move along. No, everybody wants to ride those electro bikes. I want to go to D Tokyo Disney World and ride those. So, yeah, folks, there's number four. All right. And kicking off with our number three movie in the sci-fi chase, I have 1991 Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Well, I like still call it Judgment Day, even though they got rid of it. It's Judgment Day, directed and written by Mr. James Cannon, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton, Edward Furlong, and Robert Patrick. Yes, folks, I know. You're probably going to be mad at me. You're like, how is that number one? You'll see why. But this is the... One of the best sequels ever created in the history of movies. This movie is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger at his prime. This is him coming back from the original where he was trying to kill. And now he's trying to protect Miss Linda Hamilton and her son. Uh, Mr. Uh, I can't think of John <laughs> at this point. And it is great. And then they have a brand new Terminator and Mr. Robert Patrick. The T1... Uh, T 9,000 where he's liquid metal. I mean, this thing, I mean, I don't even know what else to say. I mean, if you haven't seen this movie, you, you're just not a science fiction fan. This is, this is Terminator. I'll be back. This, they don't get no better than that, folks. This, that's why I got it there. But I know what you're going to say. I can't believe he's only picking that at three. We'll see what he's coming up with next. Yeah. Well, right next first, we got our wild card pick. And that ain't above this one. But my wild card for sci-fi chase movies is... 2013 Snowpiercer, directed and written by Jung Hoon Bong, directed by uh, starring Chris Evans, uh, Jamie Bell, Twendalyn Swinton, and Ed Harris. Wow, I caught on to this movie late. I'm not gonna even lie. I saw this on Netflix and I was blown away. This movie takes place in the future when global warming has taken over and all of society has now become on this one train that never stops moving. So this train is constantly going around the entire world, never stopping, and all of the society, or all of the world's remaining people are on this train, and it's sectioned off just like society now, the rich, the poor, the everything else, and it's all about the poor trying to rise up against the rich and the everybody in the front and take back the train. Wow, I was blown away. This movie is amazing. They're making a television show about it. Chris Evans outside of Captain America. To me, this is one of my favorite movies. It's absolutely phenomenal. Check it out, folks. It's on a ton of streaming servers. All right. And my number two movie for sci-fi chase is 1997, The Fifth Element. 
Mm, multi-pass. <laughs> Directed and written by Mr. Luke Benson, starring Bruce Willis, Mila Jolovich, Gary Oldman, and Chris Tucker. Yeah, you can get at me, guys. I don't care. I like this movie more than T2. First off, this movie created a brand new world and universe you've never seen, brand new languages and everything, and it involved Earth, about this supreme being who is surrounded by the four elements of Earth and her, and this one thing being the supreme being, and how this thing is going to protect the world from this evil. It's the classic thing. They're on the chase looking for these stones the whole time. Bruce Willis at his best. Chris Tucker, oh my goodness, he kills in the supporting role. This movie is amazing. If you love science fiction and you love new world building, my goodness, Luke Benson hit it out of the park his first time. This thing is amazing. I love this movie. This thing is a staple. Gary Oldman kills it, even though he says he doesn't know anything about it and what he was doing. He kills it as the villain, and I love this movie. All right, folks. Well, now I'm going to bring you my number one movie in the sci-fi chase category, and that's 1984 the Terminator, folks. That's right, the original. Written and directed by Mr. James Cameron. And you know the players. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton. We are talking... Oh, Michael Vine. Great movie. The reason I picked this over Terminator 2, because when you look back at this movie, this thing was cutting edge. This was Arnold before Arnold was Arnold. Arnold has like four lines in the entire movie. He just looks menacing and scaring the whole time. Plus, this is the thing that made Terminator 2 so great, was this original, where these two people come back from the future, one a human, one a robot, and one's trying to protect uh, Sarah Connor, and one's trying to kill her. And one's killing every Sarah Connor known to man in this area. And it is crazy. The whole time they're on the run in the chase, it is the ultimate sci-fi chase movie. It is the ultimate movie. Go back, watch this movie, do yourself a favor. This thing blows everything else away. This is the gold standard. This will James Cameron was killing it. With this and Aliens, he was on fire. All I know is, to me, <laughs> this movie was the one that set it all up. All right, folks, so let's recap my uh, top four plus one more sci-fi chase movies. At number four, I have Tron. At number three, I have Terminator 2. At number two, I have The Fifth Element. At number one, I have The Terminator. And my wild card pick is Snowpiercer, folks. That's my list. I'm sticking by it. You can come at me. I don't care. It's all good. See you next time, folks. Good night, Ted.